It's Canada Day. It's Canada Day. July 1st is Canada Day. Wow. Do you celebrate Canada Day? Well, if you don't celebrate Canada Day, but if you know someone who's a Canadian, you should say, Happy Canada Day! And when you come to Canada, then you're going to be saying this a lot to everyone you see. Happy Canada Day! Okay, so it's great. Now, what do people usually do on Canada Day? Well, a lot of people go to a Canada Day parade. A Canada Day parade. This is a parade here, okay? They go there and they, they watch the parade. So, I would recommend if, if you're new in Canada, you should at least go to one Canada Day parade in your life, just so you can see what it's like and feel Canadian. It's a very Canadian thing to do. Okay, so, I mean, how do you find out where the parade is? Well, every city and town across Canada has a Canada Day parade. Okay, so you can find out uh, from the city. You could probably go on your city's website. For example, here in Calgary, you could probably go on calgary.ca or something like it. I've never done that, but that's probably the best way to find out where the parade will be. Now, usually the parade takes place in the morning and it's usually downtown. It will be somewhere downtown. Okay, so once you find out where it will be downtown and what time, then you go a little bit early and you just take a lawn chair with you and you just sit on the side of the road and wait for the parade to come by. Okay, so it's free. It's, it's a very easy, you know, it's sort of boring. I mean, I've been to lots of Canada Day parades, so, so for me it's, it's a little bit boring, but hey, if, if you're new to Canada, you should definitely do this. I think you would enjoy it. Okay, so just bring a lawn chair, sit back, and relax. Now, kids really like parades because very often the people on these floats, these kinds of things are called floats. Floats, okay? People on the float throw candy to the kids on the side of the street. So kids really love that. When I was a kid, I loved getting candy. It got would get like a big bag full of candy at a parade like this. Now, another thing that people probably do uh, on the same day, if they're going to the parade, probably before the parade, they will go to a pancake breakfast, a free pancake breakfast. Most cities and towns across Canada will offer a free pancake breakfast on Canada Day. Okay, so you can go down to the breakfast, you can get some free pancakes, bacon, sausages, um, now, <laughs> one frustrating thing about a pancake breakfast is that usually the lines are really long. The lineup to, you know, you have to wait for a long time. Sometimes you have to wait for like half an hour or an hour or maybe even more just to get two pancakes and maybe two strips of bacon or something like that. So, you know, it's sort of a waste of time if... But if it's your first time doing it, I think you should definitely do it. It would be a great experience. Personally, I don't like standing in line for like an hour just to get some pancakes. But hey, I've done it lots before. Um, I just, I didn't do it today. Now, a lot of people also go camping. They go camping on Canada Day because Canada Day is is on a long weekend. Okay, it's a long weekend. That means three days off, right? Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So very often people will get off work a little bit early on Friday, maybe like three or four o'clock, and then they'll go camping Friday evening and then all day Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday Monday evening, they'll come home, 
and then they go to work again on Tuesday. Okay, so that's also a very common thing. The weather is usually pretty nice, you know, in July here in Calgary, at least, and most places in Canada. It's going to be pretty warm. I mean, if you go into the mountains, it can still be pretty cold, actually. So remember to bring a jacket, bring a good sleeping bag, because it might be pretty cool. But hopefully the weather is good and you can enjoy a nice camping trip. Now, what did I do this morning? Well, I didn't do any of these things because I was watching the World Cup. I was watching the World Cup. Now, this morning, there were two riveting matches. They were riveting. What does riveting mean? Riveting means exciting. <laughs> there were two very exciting matches. Russia beat Spain in a penalty shootout. And Croatia beat Denmark in a penalty shootout as well. Both those games were extremely fun to watch. They were, they were exciting. They were riveting. Did you watch the games? I hope you're watching the World Cup because it's, it's a really exciting. We don't know what's going to happen. Okay, so today is Canada's 151st birthday. 151 years old. Actually, that's pretty young. That's, that's very young, 151. Most countries are older than Canada, right? So, so Canada achieved independence from Britain in 1867. Okay, so in 1867, Canada got its independence from Britain and we became a country. Or were we a country before that? Well, actually, the First Nations people in Canada, you know, the, the First Nations people, the people who have been here for hundreds and maybe thousands of years, okay, those people don't really like this idea, 150 years or 151 years, because obviously they've been in Canada for much longer than 151 years, right? So it's a little bit disrespectful to say that Canada is only 151 years old because, I mean, for them, Canada's much older than that. So I don't know, it's, it's not my problem. It's, it's Canada's problem for celebrating this. But just so you know, First Nations people they might not like this idea. I'm sure there are celebrations across Canada that involve First Nations people too. I'm not sure, to be honest. I've never talked about this with First Nations people, so I don't know. But I've heard that and I've seen in the news that they don't really like this too much because they feel that Canada is their country and they were here much longer than 151 years, which makes sense, right? Uh, now, another thing I forgot to mention was the fireworks. Everywhere in Canada, you know, at least in major cities, most towns as well will have a firework show. Okay, so you can find out probably in the newspaper or something where you need to go, uh, what time, and then you can just sit there and watch the beautiful fireworks. Actually, the fireworks are probably happening right now. I'm making this video in the evening on Canada Day. Um, so maybe the fireworks are even happening right now. Maybe I should go outside and see if I can see them. Anyway, I think you're going to enjoy Canada Day if you, if you come to Canada. So if you're new here, I would encourage you to go and celebrate Canada Day like this. Uh, the Canada Day Parade, the pancake breakfast, and the fireworks later on. That's what I would recommend. And let me know if you do that down there in the comments, what you think. And also, I want to know, when is your national day? When is your national day? And what do you do to celebrate your day in your country? Let me know down there in the comments, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.